What the fuck is good, y'all? We're back. Drunken Wizard is here again, and he's here to stay. Um, we hope. Um, the name I will say, just start off the video. At some point, the name might change, but for now, Drunken Wizard is here again. We got our trusty mug, our cold mug from the freezer right here. Been in the freezer all day, just like your mom's been in my bed. Um, and then we've got our beer today. We're doing beer, obviously, with the beer mug would make the most sense. I mean, I guess I could do like just a whole glass of vodka. Why am I kind of down? Um, anyway, it is a BJ's brand beer. Found it today at Total um, Wine and More. Um, they have a huge selection, obviously. But saw BJ's and I was turned on a little bit. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm not the biggest fan of BJ's. Their food's okay, but overall it's kind of whatever. But yeah, it's called Jeremiah Red Irish Style Ale. It's a red beer, which is very interesting. Um, I have only ever had a red, a red ale a couple times. I want to say I did a video on one once, or it was included in like a pack or something. Um, so I'm very curious about how this is going to taste. It's a 7.4%, 7.3%. Okay, let's see what it says on the side. Brewed and count, brewed and count, can't talk. Brewed and canned by BJ's Brew House. Temple, Texas, for freshest flavors store in your fridge. Well, why the fuck would I store it in a cupboard? Obviously, that'd be cold. And a mug. Let's open that shit right up. Love that sound. I thought that was a more whip sound. I just did not never, never mind. Um, all right. Let's give it a little. Oh God. Oh my. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, that was my, my dog trying to break in. Give it a little sniffy sniff. Okay. I mean, it, it definitely... I don't know, it smells like a nail. Um, kind of sweet. A little... There might be some tartness to it, I can imagine. Almost like a sour ale, but I guess we'll see. Let's pour this shit in. But yeah, sorry, that's traction. My dog was at my door, being a little bitch. No, he's cute, it's okay. God damn it, I dripped on my leg. Oh, okay. I had obviously a nice little red tint, not super, oh shit. I got beer on my desk. Anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of red, not super pungent red. I thought it was gonna be like a lot brighter, maybe like a bloodish color, um, but that's okay. Right to the top, perfect. Just let it kind of like fizzle down and kind of get, you know, acquainted with the cup a little bit before we try it out. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a beer or any alcohol reaction video um, or review. Um, so I'm excited to start it up again. I, I think I'm going to keep the series going for a bit. I'm also going to do food and just anything. If anyone has any recommendations, give it to me. I will make sure to add it to my very long list <laughs> which i don't have but all right let's try this shit kind of three three so actually let's give it a little sniffy sniff outside of the can maybe i mean, maybe you can get the essence of the different flavors a little more we'll see no it smells the same all right three two one cheers bitches Um, okay. Definitely got a nice little sweetness to it. Almost like a... I don't even know. I don't really know how, like, what I'm thinking of right now. Um, it reminds me of a different beer. Not like a Guinness. I want to say that kind of... It almost reminds me of, like, a stout or a porter, flavor-wise. But it's just... It's not as thick, and it's a little... It's a lot more light than that. Because porters, especially stouts too, but porters tend to be a lot um, thicker, like Guinness and different things. Like that. There was a video I did in a few Halloween beers, I think two years ago, and there were a couple of porters in there. Those were, it's like almost like medicine almost. The flavor's good. One was chocolatey, one was coffee flavored, but they're just thick, like really fucking thick. Almost as thick as your grandma is in the park, but 
pretty thick. Um, Show one more time. That's quite good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely into it. This, however, does feel like the kind of beer because I'm the kind of beer drinker where a lot of times I would drink the beer regardless of whether it's freezing cold or like, I mean, if it's hot, I won't. But if it's like room temperature, I might touch it a little bit, you know? Consensually, I will touch it, of course. But anyway, um, but yeah, I will go for warm beers if I have the opportunity to drink something. Um, but this one doesn't seem like it would be good warm. I don't know. There's just some of the flavor that I can almost tell that it would not be good at all. Not that any of them are great in that state, but this one especially doesn't feel like it would be. Um, but yeah, take a little another sip and then we're gonna give us a nice little give it a review. But our rating of the day. I just chuck it. <laughs> um Okay, so Overall, anyway, I'm going to review it a couple different ways to so bottle or canalize brandy and all that shit. It's really cool. I just like, I, I don't know, it's a cool can. That was honestly partly what drew me in, besides the fact that it says BJ's on it. Um, design wise, I'd give it like a, I guess 7.5 out of 10. Um, and then beer, excuse me. Um,. Honestly, I'd probably give it like a like seven point eight hops out of ten. I think seven point eight. Yeah, it's not fully that that B rating, a eight percent or eight points, but it's it's good. It's passable. It's there. It's above average. Um, shit. Sorry, my low power mode. Whatever. One on my phone. Fuck that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely good very passable it's it's a good beer but average beer to me and i can be picky with beers depending ipas i'm a little pickier but i'll try anything i'll do anything once um for money but yeah um yeah so that's my review on this jeremiah red by bj's and irish style ale um yeah hopefully if you're watching this you saw my recent two videos that i posted yesterday or a couple days ago I, I don't know when I, exactly when i'm gonna post this one but this will probably be a couple days after um me and my update and that's just those are my plans for the channel i've got more coming like i said we're probably gonna stick more to the food reviews but we're gonna continue the drinks we're gonna still do all color reviews we're gonna just mix them in but we're gonna do both maybe even some music reviews i actually have a couple of videos for of music reviews i did like a year ago that i just never edited um but yeah that's really all i got for today I'll see you on the next video. Remember to stay drunk. Peace, y'all. And see you back here soon. Peace.